Hey, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. We are in Hope County from Far Cry 5. We're here to take a look at the game. We're gonna talk to the head writer and we're going to meet Greg Burke, the actor who plays the latest and perhaps the most sinister villain of the franchise. Let's take a look. Drew, set the stage for Far Cry 5 for us. <sighs> Far Cry 5 brings the franchise to America for the first time, specifically to Hope County, Montana, where a, a doomsday cult led by Joseph Seed called the Project Eden's Gate has taken over the county, and the player is a rookie sheriff's deputy who's tasked with trying to arrest him. And like all Far Cry scenarios, it, it doesn't go well, uh, and the player is sort of lost behind enemy lines, and, and they're tasked with trying to, to take this guy down. I save souls. But unlike the chosen one sent before, God will never let you take me. I was reticent at first about being involved in a video game because I'm not familiar with the world. Mm -hmm. And then they sent me some writing for Joseph, this monologue in particular that was one of the most harrowing pieces of writing that I'd ever got to tackle. And, uh, and I said yes, and I put it on tape, and, and they responded to it, and it's been an extraordinary collaboration. Literally one of the happiest creative journeys of my life. What did you tap into in your inner self to kind of create this, this insanity? Well, I, I think that um, it's a character who has been stripped of the comforting insulation of love as a child, and, and people that are alone and frightened, they build a system around themselves, a belief system around themselves. So for me, it was struggling with the loss of love and, and really needing to connect to people and have people in my world and create this family. And there's also the element of being ordained by God, hearing God's word and trying to fulfill his prophecy and save as many people as I can. So it was it was a dark currents that we, we tended to swim in, but they were rewarding in the end. I was chosen by God. I helped the blind to see. Rarely has a voice actor look so similar to the actor, the character in the game. How, what was that like? Did you draw from it or what? Tell we me a little bit. We actually ended up uh, just purchasing Greg's likeness. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing was, like, you know, when he put that audition on camera, it, we had been searching all over, across Canada, across the United States, for someone that could could really make us believe that, that this could be a cult leader, that, that we would want to join this guy's cult. Yeah. And the minute that we watched this audition tape, there was something about the, the honesty that he brought to the scene. Um, th there was a truthfulness, um, and, and you, you sort of felt yourself understanding where he came from, but at the same time being terrified of it. Tell me about the collaboration and learning about cults. I assume you're not in one yourself. I am not yet. <laughs> the cult of the cult yeah. of video games yeah. now. Yeah. It was a very personal journey, and this so much of the game is me interacting with the player in a really intimate way, or with my with Jacob or John or Faith and also going through these great crises of faith within myself. So it was a much more, it was a much more uh, internal mm -hmm. struggle for me. And I, um, as a father of a family, I understand what it means to try to hold people together and sometimes force them to do things that they don't want to do because you feel you know best. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't, I wasn't honestly as concerned with the bigger picture I was concerned with the moment to moment and this this dangerous intimacy that we were able to create. What is working on video games, what has that showed you in terms of uh, in terms of this industry? I was I was amazed at how um, accommodating the process is. After the first little bit you get used to the suit and the dots and the, having a camera and a light right in your face and that and I can't speak for every video game, but the Ubisoft team that we were lucky, that I was lucky enough to work with ha had such um, a respect for the process of finding an emotional truth mm -hmm. that everything in the bomb was geared towards creating those moments. And it was, it was like doing a play. It was a little bit different than film, but to me it was the closest approximation was doing a play. Mm -hmm. And you still are trying to create truthful, honest moments with either the other uh, characters in the game they're interacting with, or we were also very lucky that the player was represented not just by a camera, but there was a person wearing it. So I could actually talk to someone and commune with someone mm -hmm. as we were recording it. I really was overjoyed and surprised by the process. I didn't know what it would be like, and it was really intimate, and you were able to go to some very honest, difficult places. That's a look at Far Cry 5 coming out March 27th to Xbox One, and it is Xbox One X Enhanced. Hope you enjoyed this first look. Thanks for watching.